Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Testing Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about GraphQL mutation, introduction, and testing. First, I will be going through the description which I have written in this note part. GraphQL mutations are operations that modify or change data on the server. While GraphQL queries are used to retrieve data, mutations allow you to create, update or delete data. They are defined in schema just like queries, but they are typically used to perform write operations. So GraphQL mutations are used for modifying or changing the data on the server. Queries is used to retrieve data, while mutations are used to create, update or delete data. So mutation will be performing write operations and GraphQL queries will be performing read operations. So here I have given a sample of a mutation. So there will be a keyword called mutation. This create post is actually the mutation name. Then there is the endpoint. So here we are passing the payload. So title. We are passing value title 1. For user ID we are passing value 1 and views we are passing 10. So this is the data we will be passing using this mutation. And these four keys are actually JSON so these data will be returned from the server so this is the expected uh, response uh, from the server so we are asking for uh, id title user id and views from the uh, server so the response will be returned in the form of a json so this is what this particular mutation is all about now i will be showing the uh, graphql server in my system in my command line, I have already started the uh, JSON GraphQL server. So it is uh, opened on localhost 3000 port. I have already opened that URL in browser. So this is the uh, GraphQL server which is running in my local. Now uh, I will be taking this uh, particular option called show GraphQL Explorer. So here we will be using a mutation. You can see one drop down add new so you have to change the value to mutation and you have to click on this plus button we will be using the endpoint create post which is displayed here i am clicking on it now and just giving some values so there is an error coming so this is the error so we have to select the subfields uh, which is part of this create post endpoint so to do that just need to click on the uh, radio buttons uh, which is uh, which is displayed here so i am clicking id title user id and views now the error is gone so i am changing the mutation name to uh, create post So this is how we can generate a mutation from uh, this URI itself. It's very easy. Just select the endpoint and uh, also select the uh, subfields which is required for that uh, particular endpoint. And you have to pass uh, the data uh, along with the mutation. I am hitting this uh, mutation. You can see there is an execute query. There is a play button here. So when I click on that play button uh, it have returned the uh, json response you can see it have returned id title user id views so what we have asked for is id title user id and views and it have returned the exact things now i am removing the uh, views from here and i am again executing the query so it will not be returning uh, views value in the next uh, json response you can see so that's the main advantage of uh, GraphQL. So the data which we ask for is returned from the server. Now I will be uh, hitting this mutation from Bruno. So I have already opened uh, Bruno. I have created a collection called GraphQL server here. I am adding a new request. I am choosing as uh, GraphQL and giving name as create post mutation. Now I have to add the URL. 
This is the URL. Clicking on the create button, choosing the developer mode, saving. Now there is a query tab here. In that query tab, you have to just copy paste uh, the value of the mutation. So this is the mutation we have to copy it. Now I am pasting it in the query tab. I am saving the request. Now I am hitting the request. You can see the data. If I hit again, it will be creating a post with ID 6. You can see. So this is how you uh, hit uh, mutation GraphQL uh, using Bruno. So I hope uh, this video was useful for everyone. So if you find this uh, video helpful, uh, please consider subscribing the channel, like, share and comment on the video. Thanks for watching and keep learning.